Recently, a viewer asked a great question about declaring strings in C. So when they declared a string like this, using the array notation with open bracket, close bracket, they were able to modify the string. When they declared a string like this, with a pointer variable, they weren't able to modify the string. They actually got a segmentation fault error. Let's talk about what's going on here and why this is the case. And we'll go over an example in C. So whenever we have a pair of double quote characters that enclose some characters like this, we have what's called a string literal. So somewhere in memory, there's going to be the characters A, B, C, D, E, F, followed by the special null terminator character that ends a string. Where exactly in memory string literals are stored is not specified by the C standard. We can use string literals to initialize character arrays to have them store a string. So we could say car S1 open bracket close bracket is equal to this string literal. And what's going to happen is that a character array seven characters long is going to be created and it's going to be initialized with this string. Now this character array exists on the stack and we know that we can modify things on the stack. So if we were to say S1 at index zero is equal to the character capital X, we could then print out S1 and we can be confident that we'll get a printout of that string with the first character modified to be X and we get X, B, C, D, E, F and nothing too surprising there. But what about this? What if we say car star S2 is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. So again, we have here a string literal and exactly where it's stored in memory is not defined by the C standard. We don't know where it is. What this is, is not a character array. This is a pointer to a character. It's going to be a pointer to the first character in this string literal, wherever it is stored in memory. So we can print out the string just fine using printf. We could say printf s2 colon percent s backslash n, and here we'll have s2. So in C, when we pass an array like s1 to a function like printf, what's really being passed here is a pointer to the first element in the array. So with S2, it's really not much different. With S2, we're passing a pointer to this first character here in this string. And that's enough for printf to be able to print out the string. So we can save it, run it, and we get the string here, A, B, C, D, E, F. So we can print the string, but we'll find that we can't modify the string so if we try to have S2 at index zero is equal to the character capital X, this won't work. If we try to save and run this, we'll get a pretty scary looking error. So we'll run it and let's see what happens. So it says thread one, execute bad access code two. And this is a pretty scary error because it pops up all these windows here. But what's going on is we're trying to modify a place in memory that we're not allowed to modify. So exactly where string literals are stored is not specified as part of the C standard. It's also not specified what will happen if we try to modify a string literal. And every C compiler I've ever seen will not allow you to do this. Technically though, it's unspecified. So basically the difference is that S1 is a character array stored on the stack. And we know that we can modify S1. S2 is actually a pointer to a string literal that's stored somewhere, we're not sure. And we also can't be sure that we can modify it. And I'm not aware of any C compiler that will actually allow you to modify it, even though the C language standard technically doesn't disallow that. Let's actually comment this out Let's go over some of the small differences between these two approaches. So with S2, because it's a pointer, we could use pointer arithmetic. We could say S2 plus plus. What this is going to do is modify which character S2 is pointing to. 
S2 was originally pointing to the character A, but after incrementing the pointer, S2 is going to point to B. So if we save and run this, we'll get that S2 is now B, C, D, E, F. Now the whole string is stored in memory somewhere, but the pointer S2 that points to the characters in that string has been incremented to point to the next character. So when we pass S2 to printf, what's being passed is a pointer to that next character in the string, and printf will print out the string from there. Now in the case of a character array like S1, though S1 can act like a pointer, in the sense that when we call printf and pass it S1, what's really being passed is a pointer to this first element here, S1 acts like a constant pointer, which means we can't change what S1 is pointing to. So we can't say S1 plus plus and try to increment the pointer. If we try this, we'll get a compiler error. It says, cannot increment a value of this type. So that's one difference. S1 is going to act like a constant pointer. S2 actually is a pointer and we can treat it like one. So for example, because S1 is a character array, I can't just assign a new string to it like this by saying S1 is equal to new string. We can do that once when we initialize the character array. After that, we would need to use a function like string copy from the string library to change the string. We could save this, run it, and we'll get an error here. Again, it tells us that it's not assignable. But with S2, I actually could say S2 is equal to new string. And this is actually going to work okay. So I could save it, run it, and it's going to compile. If I try to print out S2 again, we're gonna find that we actually get the new string. So I'll save this and run it. And we get that S2 is set to new string. So what's going on here is that new string is just another string literal somewhere in memory. And here we're setting S2 to point to that other string literal. We'll notice one more difference if we try to use the size of operator. So if here we say printf size of S1 colon percent D, and we'll output the size of S1. And then we'll do the same thing with S2. We'll say printf size of S2 colon percent D backslash N, and we'll have size of S2. If we save this and run it, for S1, we get a size of seven. But for S2, we get a size of eight. So what's going on here is that S1 is a character array on the stack. And we know it's gonna be seven characters long and it's one byte per character. And therefore we get a size of seven bytes. S2, even though right now it's pointing to this string that has one, two, three, four, nine, ten characters, including the null terminator, even though it's pointing to a longer string, we're getting size of S2 is eight bytes. And that's because S2 is really a pointer variable on the stack. And when we use the size of operator, it's not giving us the size of the string that it's pointing to. It's giving us the size of S2, the pointer on the stack. So because it's not specified, what will happen if we try to modify a string literal? What we should do if we're going to have a pointer to a string literal is make it a pointer to a constant car. So that way, if we try to actually modify what the pointer is pointing to, the compiler will flag this as an error. It will say read-only variable is not assignable this way, we won't get a runtime error by accidentally modifying the string literal when the program is executing. So that's the difference between these two approaches to creating a string in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.